Uh, hi everyone, I hope you can uh, hear me now. Uh, I'm uh, very happy to join you today uh, together with my colleague, uh, Josefine Herold Larsson. Uh, we work at uh, Wikimedia Sferia, the Swedish chapter of the Wikimedia Foundation, and we would like to present a project that we have been working on uh, this year together with a very prominent museum here in Sweden called 100,000 photo memories. How do I change the slide? That is a very good question. Oh, like this, perfect. Uh, first of all, uh, some introduction. The Nordic Museum, uh, those who attended Wikimania in Stockholm are familiar with it because uh, in this beautiful place we had our final party. But uh, apart from being a great party place, uh, they are also guardians of the Swedish cultural heritage. They work in the field of cultural history. And uh, among other things, they have amazing archives of uh, illustrations and photographs um, made by prominent Swedish photographers that document how our country, among other things, looked uh, in the past. And they are now running a very, very big initiative to digitize hundreds of thousands of previously unpublished photos that had just been lying in their archives in the basement for many years. And they would like to share those photos with the rest of the world. And uh, we are working together with them in order to, at the same time as they're scanning in the photos, put some of them on Wikimedia Commons so that uh, they can be enjoyed by the community. But another very big piece of the puzzle is that the photos that they are scanning, they often have very little information about them. Like they just have an envelope in a shelf that just says the name of the photographer and the year and something like Stockholm. But you don't know what street is in the photo, what person is depicted, what does it show. And that's why they want to work with the Wikimedia community uh, to crowdsource and to improve the data of the photos. Uh, the project uh, has its own... Uh, oh, how do I change the slide? Oh, I have no idea who's doing this. Uh, the project has its own page on uh, Wikimedia Commons where you can uh, see some thematic packages uh, that we have been uploading. There are some photos from different cities in Sweden. There are some uh, photos documenting the industrial heritage of our country, like old factories showing how people uh, work uh, in the past. Next slide, please. As I mentioned previously, there is very little information that the museum can provide. And that's why from the very beginning, we have been thinking about involving the Wikimedia community uh, to improve this information. But another very important step is that once people uh, have improved the information on Wikimedia Commons, such as, as describing the address of the, of the building in the photo or who is the person in the photo. Later on, that information will be actually reused by the museum. They would like to import the new information from Wikimedia Commons and put it into their own uh, collection management system so that they benefit from it as well. And of course, uh, this... Uh, has resulted in a lot of discussions with the museum about how to best run a big project like this and how to work with crowdsourced material. Because of course, anyone can put anything on Wikipedia or on Wikimedia Commons. So for example, how should the museum in their own database indicate that this is crowdsourced information 
We haven't been able to confirm this, but it uh, looks good and adds uh, some value to the collection. Next slide, please. Uh, so, as uh, you have guessed from guessed from the name of the project, they are working with 100,000 photos, which is a lot, and that is uh, way more than we can and way more than we should put on Wikimedia Commons, because uh, not everything is equally interesting. That's why a big part of the project has been selecting the photos and thinking and discussing uh, what will be most valuable uh, to the Swedish Wikimedia community. Uh, for example, in this photo, uh, this was taken uh, in the uh, Saab factory, which makes uh, military airplanes, which is a, a very uh, big industry in Sweden. And a lot of people are uh, interested in how it has developed. And I guess in every country, in every Wikimedia community, there are military and airplane nerds who can work on improving and describing what exactly is in this photo. Uh, another thing that is also interesting to Swedish Wikimedians are old photos from our cities that show how our buildings and streets uh, looked like. And again, there are a lot of people who are experts on local history and who can pinpoint exactly what's in every photo. Next slide. Uh, here is just a small selection of the photos we have worked on, which uh, show the variety of topics. We have people at work in factories. We have cars and airplanes. We even uh, have some uh, photos from other countries, like in this example, Copenhagen uh, in Denmark. Next slide, please. So how do we work with the community? I would like uh, Josephine to chip in since she has been working with this a lot. I can't hear you. No. Uh, yes, perfect. Great. So, hi. Um, I, as uh, Alicia said, am a colleague at Wikimedia Sverige, where I work as a project leader. And I run uh, currently a project that is called Wikipedia for All of Sweden. And uh, that is a project wanting to engage people all over Sweden to contribute to our platforms and to our organization. And in this 100,000 images uh, or image memories, uh, we have found a, a perfect combination of the two projects because uh, we, um, we are engaging people. This is um, a way of working together. Uh, sharing the knowledge that they have that is um, that is valuable for the platforms and also creating visibility locally around Wikimedia Sverige. And we reach out to people and we get their knowledge and we tell them about the organization uh, and then we inspire them to become members and volunteers. And the focus groups of this project are young people, old people and other genders than male so female, non-binary, etc. And uh, one way of doing uh, this joint work between the project is a totally new kind of event, the Metadata Editathon. This is the first time we've run something like this in Sweden, and I don't know if it's done uh, in another context ever. But uh, this is an image from the pilot event. Next slide, please. Alicia mentioned Saab, uh, and Saab is based or uh, has their largest factory in a city called Linköping, where there is also the Swedish Air Force Museum. And we wanted to work together with them to identify what is actually on the Saab images. 
So we were working with a museum as well as two uh, historical societies uh, connected to Saab and uh, the Air Force and having them share knowledge about what's on the images. So we gathered some former employees at Saab Linköping. Uh, I think we were 13 all in all that told us what the images contain in a workshop. So they were sharing memories and details uh, and giving life to the images. And this is a very new and exciting way of working for us. Uh, and the image uh, that we see next to the text is one of the images that is taken in this factory in the 1940s. So the Im images reach from 1940s to 1970s. Uh, and this was, of course, before those people even worked there, but uh, they still knew the people in the image and uh, what they were looking at. Uh, and I will later talk a little bit about how we worked with the ISA tool uh, doing this, because that was the tool of the workshop. Alicia. Yes, uh, when working with describing and improving data on Wikimedia Commons, I guess uh, a lot of you have, uh, have heard about or even started using SDC, that is Structured Data on Commons. It's a relatively new uh, part of the Wikimedia infrastructure, which makes it possible to tag photos on commons uh, with uh, Wikidata items that represent what's shown in the photo. And this connection between uh, Wikimedia Commons and Wikidata uh, makes it possible, for example, for the museum that will later want to extract this information, they will be able to do it in a much simpler way, much easier than if they had been only working with free text descriptions or categories. Wikidata items uh, have, can have labels uh, in different languages, so they can extract the data in the language they want. They can even uh, crawl Wikidata to find more information about the item. So for example, if it, we tag a photo with a particular airplane model and that airplane model on Wikidata has the year when it was invented, then uh, the museum can also get that data directly from Wikidata. Uh, and uh, uh, since we hadn't worked with structured data on commons with beginners before, this was also a very interesting part of our work. Uh, how do we gather people in editatons who hadn't edited the Wikimedia projects uh, at all and start teaching them structured data on commons? We used the, the ISA tool uh, as a tool to add the pics statements and tell us, Josephine, how it worked out. Next slide, please. Yes. Um, the ISA tool was, work, was used um, uh, by me mainly as a facilitator during this editathon. And it is not created to be this kind of tool. Uh, it's not optimal for the workshop method. It's created to run competitions where you identify what is on images. Uh, but this is still the best tool there is to do this kind of workshop work because you get the image on the screen and you very easily get the, uh, the fields where you fill out the, the data Alicia was talking about. Uh, but there are some high thresholds even for using this tool. Uh, for new users. Having to learn both the ISA tool in itself uh, and Wikidata. For example, uh, when you want to put a label on something and the label does not exist in Wikidata yet, you have to learn how to create an item on Wikidata to be able to uh, add that uh, as a depict on ISA tool. So that uh, creates some boundaries. Uh, and also you have to have a common understanding of how um, Wikimedia Commons and the other platforms work. Uh, for example, what is valid information. Uh, but we were too 
experienced users that were listening and editing as the uh, and in this in this case the target group was of course old people uh, that have previously been working they were about 80 years old so we were listening to them and editing through the ISA tool at the same time Alicia will you tell us a little bit about working together yes next slide please Uh, so what have we learned so far from this project? First of all, uh, this is really a puzzle with many pieces. Uh, we are several people at Wikimedia Sverige who have been working on it. Uh, we have a software developer who uh, corrects bugs that we found in ISA tool. We have Yusefin who works with education and our outreach and communication. I work with the museum to discuss with them the best format uh, for importing data from Wikimedia Commons to Wikidata. We talk a lot about uh, engaging with the community, uh, which photo sets would be most interesting, uh, and so on. But in general, uh, something that's really, really exciting is that this is the first time for us that a GLAM organization actually uh, reached out to us in the first stage of a digitization project. Because if, as it can be an experience of many of you that the regular way is that a museum has a lot of photos on a hard drive or on their website, and they would like to have them uploaded to Wikimedia Commons. And then you have to work with the metadata that's there in whichever format it is. But here for the first time we are in from the very beginning and we can provide advice and we can discuss how things should be done and this is something that's amazing because it means that for the museum uh, we are an equal partner they see the wikimedia platforms as an obvious part of outreach and of working with the public we are very happy about this and i must say we had been working with the nordic museum for years we had done different sorts of projects with them. So this is the result of this hard work. They know about us, they know about the Wikimedia platforms and it's completely obvious to them to use them. But of course, uh, not everything uh, has been great and amazing. There has been some problems. Next slide, please. Yes. We have had some stumbling blocks. Uh, we have had goats picking on our pipes. Uh, and uh, they concern the ISA tool as well as the images themselves. For example, in the ISA tool, there are no specific URLs to the campaign objects. So you can't link directly to a specific image uh, for people to fill out uh, the information. Uh, and when there are several similar images, you can't add the same data to several of them. Um, and you have to work simultaneously in several tools, as I mentioned. Um, but also concerning the images, how do you select out of a th hundred thousand images what is relevant to Wikimedia Commons? That is a hurdle. Also the lack of information about the photos, uh, because it's sometimes difficult even knowing who to ask what is in the images. Uh, and also the quality reviews and citations now we depend on people's memories and um, their recollections of what happens and uh, are those better than nothing or not so uh, what's next to finish up next slide please so we will have another uh, metadata ed editathon around um, sob images but we will also do another one uh, around agriculture Im images, for example, this pig and the woman. Uh, and we still have thousands of images left to upload to Wikimedia Commons. And just to finish off this presentation, I would like to give a great example of how we have been working. Because we reached out to local media before the first editathon, and they had an image article, an image special article, uh, with links where they had selected some of the Saab images. And a reader 
saw a person she knew, she recognized him and told him, well, you're on this image. And they say something about an event. So this person on this image, as we can see, he showed up at the editathon and was ready to tell us everything he knew about what he was doing, investigating this uh, wing from an airplane in 1976. And with this, me and Alicia would like to thank you very much for uh, listening to us. And you can reach out to us if you have any questions or wonderings about this project. Thank you. Thank you.